In this video, we want to work through a couple more examples for synthetic division. Again, the process is the same for all of these. First, start off with your little L-shaped bar, and then put your headings. So your K is always going to go out here. Identify the highest degree, which is 4, and start labeling that for your columns. So X to the 4th. Remember, you don't skip anything, so it goes 3, 2, one, and at the end, you're going to have your constant term. Remember, no skipping. Your k value is, well, we see a minus 8, but remember, we're going to do the opposite of what we see, so that's actually going to be a positive 8. We have 4x to the 4th, minus 27, then minus 42x squared, plus 9x, and plus 73. Please make sure you pay very close attention to your signs. I, mean, I shouldn't have to tell you that now, but uh, one of these days. All right, so the first thing you do is bring down that lead coefficient. Just bring down, in this case, the 4. And then it becomes multiply and add. Just go back and forth. Multiply, add, multiply, add. 8 times 4 is 32. Combine these guys. Negative 27 to positive 32 is 5. Multiply the 5 times the k value of 8. That gives us 40. Negative 42 and 40 is negative 2. Take this and multiply it times the k value of 8 yet again. So we get negative 16. 9 minus 16 is negative 7. And then 8 times negative 7 yields negative 50. Six. Now, you're going to know that you are doing things, or that you've messed something up when the numbers get really, really big. They should not blow up and be like super crazy, at least with the problems that I'm going to give you. They should all be fairly nice, nothing too extreme, I hope. 73 minus 56 is 17. So, as we mentioned with synthetic division, you're going to lose a degree for each of these guys. So this is now going to be the column for x to the third. And then it goes from 3 to 2, from 2 to 1, from x to just being the constant, and then here is the remainder. So now we take these numbers and we write this as, um, as, our, as our answer. So this becomes, now we just write this. So 4x to the third plus 5x squared minus 2x minus 7 plus, okay, we take the remainder, which is 17, over the divisor x minus 8. And that's really it. You get the setup, and you go through that process of multiplying and adding. And before you know it, you're done. The thing you've got to pay attention to will be your signs, making sure that you add and subtract, multiply correctly. And once you do that, you should be okay. So let's try one last example. Now, I don't think this is the last time we're going to be doing synthetic division. The next concept that we have is built on synthetic division, and it gives us this really, really interesting result. So x to the fifth minus 29 x to the third plus 17 x squared plus 29 all divided by x minus 5. Okay. Now remember, at any point in the video, you can pause it and try to do this on your own. In fact, that's why you've got the those guided notes. So you can try this on your own before you watch the videos. All right. So as we've been doing, there's my heading for K right there. I see I've got X to the fifth, so that's the highest degree, the uh, highest degree term that I see. So X to the five, four, three, two, one, zero, which is going to be, zero degrees is going to be our constant term. 
Now, let's put our numbers in, okay? Our k, we see negative 5, so we do the opposite, which is positive 5. We have 1x to the fifth. This is minus 29x to the third. So we don't have any x to the fourth, so we write 0. Remember that 0 and 1 are not the same. Uh, negative 29 here for x to the third, plus 17x squared. This says plus 29, not 29x, so it's 0 for the x, and 29 for the constant term. So these zeros are just placeholders. Do we have to have them? Yes. If you don't have them, if you don't have them, it means something different. Like if I were to say the number 105, right? 105, that zero in the 10 spot means I don't have any tens. But if I don't write it, it means a completely different number. So here, bring down the one and multiply. Each multiplication act that we take is going to be with the k value. So one times five is five. Add these guys and I get five. Now multiply times the k value again. So 25, combine, we get negative four. Multiply times k, that gives me negative 20. 17 minus 20 is negative three. Multiply times k again. Negative 15 combined with 0 is negative 15. 5 times negative 15 is negative 75. And you combine 29 and negative 75, you get a negative answer, and we get negative 46. So now we've got to write our answer as that quotient function plus the remainder over the divisor. x to the fifth column becomes x to the fourth. This is x to the third, x squared, x. There's your constant term, and here is your remainder. Now, you don't have to you know, put these labels in the columns like I'm doing here. I do that so that I can clearly see what my answer is going to look like. So we end up with 1x to the fourth plus 5x to the third minus 4x squared minus 3x minus 15 and then we can say minus 46 over the divisor x minus 5. As we showed in another video we can do minus and then put, so this is really the negative 46 over the divisor. You could also make this a plus and put the negative in the numerator. It doesn't really matter because it still gives you the, the same result. It's the same answer. So in the next few videos, we're going to see applications for the synthetic division. How is it useful for evaluating functions and for finding zeros of polynomials? So make sure you click on the next video to get to the next lesson. All right, see ya.